Hey everybody, Joni D and is little Joan still here? Yeah, she's there there in the background. She's she's had enough of me today. Uh, and this is a screenwriter's rant on The Burning Sea, a Norwegian action movie. It actually came out last year, uh, but it's being released here because I got to tell you it looks pretty pretty kick A. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Uh, please check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Uh, books 1 through 7 available at Amazon.com and Kindle Unlimited is free. Now this is a family. Uh, they're the main characters. And you can see this guy in the foreground is like the oil rig guy. And his wife, I think, works with like dealing with the rescues of oil rigs or like the safety of these things and so she she runs the ships and and searches for people and there's a rig down and a bunch of people died and she goes to explore it and there's bodies floating in it because guys got caught up in it and it's pretty gruesome uh, but then she discovers that there's a problem because uh, more of the rig is going to explode and then it does and that damages this rig and it, it, it snowballs out of control um, and so that, that of course their romance is important in the movie um, so this is larger than anything we have previously seen I'm not sure what it is but you can see this guy he's on a helicopter platform watching the oil rig in the distance and the explosion so powerful it swamps this boat the safety first boat and uh, you know they have to get off get off the, the the rig before that explodes so this is from the producers of the wave and the quake so it's like it's like a Roland Emmerich kind of movie it's a big deal but it looks looks more realistic so you see um, I'm sure these are all CGI models and then water comes in um, it's about all these rigs going down these oil rigs for some reason there's jets I don't know how they can help and then she's in the water and she's trying to save him. So this is a pretty good scene they put in the trailer. The helicopter is about to take off from this landing pad. And then, of course, half the rig is collapsing beneath it. So I'll just play a little bit of it. Watch. See, that, that's collapsing. They're trying to get off. But, like, the air kind of sucks them down. And, and they nearly crash. Like, ah! Whoa! <laughs> That was a pretty good uh, uh, bit. I mean, that that really that really sold me on this. Uh, it's called The Burning Sea. And uh, it is directed by John Andreas Anderson. Um, screenplay by Harold... Whew, these are all... Norwe it's a Norwegian movie, so forgive me on these names. Harold Rosen... Rosenlau Egg... And Lars gooms me its dad. <laughs> Trying to do the accent helped me a little bit. Um, so, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty cool. The Burning Sea. Yeah, and it's kind of in the news. I mean, you know, not recently recent, but fairly recent in our history. We had that problem in the Gulf, right? So you can see something like this spiraling out of control and turning into a big explosion. You know, and the Norwegians, for some reason, have to, you know, save the day. I, I you know, I, at first I thought it was Russian. Uh, I always go to Russian for some reason. But, uh, man, the Norwegians are doing some movies, huh? They're doing a lot of movies these days. Uh, where's uh, uh, Nomi Rapace? Uh, she's not in it, but every time I see a foreign movie now, I think she's going to be in it. So yeah, this looks the effects look cool. The explosions were exciting and it's and it's really grounded in reality. And that's what I like about it. It's not, you know, there's not some monster from the deep causing this. This is man-made problem. It's a real man-made problem. You know, these rigs going up and you know, dealing with the politics and intrigue of that and dealing with the human cost. Yeah. Would they do a movie like this here? I mean, they could. We certainly have the technology and the actors and everything. Are they? I don't know. I, you know, can can Hollywood spin it for their politics the correct way? 
Uh, I don't know. That's the problem with it. See, I, that kind of stuff, I don't think you're going to deal with it as much in the Norwegian film industry. I think they're a little more concerned about the story than people in Hollywood are. Although that they're releasing it in America, you don't know. But it just looks like a good movie. I mean, I'm not big on disaster movies, but this is a bit new. We have a dramatic development over the last 48 hours. And this is a, another movie that won't be too impacted by the subtitles because it's not going to be a tremendous amount of dialogue in the big scenes. The big scenes are the explosions and the rigs going down and survival. So the, the, the dialogues tend to be very taut and tight. Oh no, get out, run, uh, that kind of stuff. And that, that you can read through, you know, and even if you have some, some, uh, exposition, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be based on relationships let's say. I mean, there's going to be relationships in it. Ultimately, wow, look at that. Ultimately, there's always a human cost, stories about people, but um, has something happened to Dad? I mean, that part is. Um, but uh, it's going to be mostly about the consequences of having these uh, oil platforms and things like that. You know, and it's going to be the explosions. Can they survive? So, yeah, I mean, I'm not big on disaster movies, but this is kind of a new area for me. Oil platforms, I, I, don't, I, I can't even recall one before. Um, so, yeah, it sounds, sounds exciting. Good on you, Norwegians, for making this movie. Good on you. So this is streaming. Um, do we have a date on this? I think... I mean, it came out in 2021, but, oh, here it is. Yeah, February 25th in theaters and on demand. This is a movie I would see in a theater because explosions, hello? Hello, big explosions, big set pieces like this. These are going to be exciting to see on a big screen. You know, on a smaller screen, they're fine too. I mean, even, even just this helicopter scene, I was like, whoa, whoa, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool, the helicopter. Ah, it almost crashed. Um, but this would definitely be a movie to see in theaters. You know, to see these big... Well, they're not big. They're probably all CGI now. But, um, yeah, The Burning Sea, it's called. Good on you, Norwegians. And that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan, still in the background, I hope. Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. Check out our live stream. Today was a Hollywood hot take. And uh, on the other platforms, we have a piney podcast and a news blast. That's it for me. We'll see you.